welcome to Puerto Spain. My name is Rochelle and I serve on board with my two beautiful sons and my husband who's the accommodation maintenance officer. We've had a wonderful three and a half weeks in Trinidad. Here's a bit more about what we did. Trinidad and Tobago is a twin island nation located off the coast of Venezuela. Crew members were excited to arrive in the capital city, Port of Spain, on the island of Trinidad, their first official port of the new year. They were greeted with a traditional steel pan performance, an instrument invented in this very country. Minister of Education, Mr. Anthony Garcia, officially opened the book fair to the public. He happily informed crew members that the Ministry of Education had already granted permission for schools to bring their students to visit the ship. One morning, Logos Hope's crew created a sensory-friendly environment in the book fair and we opened an hour early to allow schools and families with autistic children to come on board and have a memorable experience. In order to adjust to the sensory needs of Trinidad's autistic community, intercom announcements, television screens and background music were turned off in the book fair. As I look around and I see how pleased many of these children are, I am reminded that for some of them it might be the first time that they've ever been to anything like a bookshop. Their parents especially can relax and just enjoy a really great family outing, a really wonderful family experience. It's a really good way, as one of the parents told me, for them to be able to bond and reconnect as a family. And if nothing else happens, even if no books are sold, I really think Logos can take that away as a success. The theme during our visit to the Caribbean is bringing hope from shore to shore, whether through sports, prison visits, children's programs, book donations or other activities, crew members had many opportunities to offer encouragement and hope to the people they connected with on shore. We also had some unique onboard events such as Around the World and Cultural Cafe, which highlighted the diverse nationalities of our crew. One event was specifically designed for local alumni to reconnect after being involved with the ship's ministry. Around 30 people attended the Caribbean Wave event and engaged with other alumni through a meal, games and conversations. The alumni were able to reflect on their time as volunteers and share how their experiences have brought them to where they are today. One woman talked about how serving on board Logos Hope for two years developed her character. The two years that I served on board was really like a training ground for me. Um, it developed my people skills, it developed just the ability to live and serve in an international community. I wasn't a very confident young woman, but uh, just living on board um, really brought that out. Another event was Crew for a Day, in which local teenagers got to work alongside crew members and experience what it is like to be a volunteer on board Logos Hope. Nearly 20 youth had the opportunity to serve in various departments on the ship. Some worked in the deck and engine departments, while others helped out with pricing books for the book fair or cleaning dishes in the pantry. I got to work in the engine room and the highlight of my day was getting to see, meet and talk to people from all over the world. And I would honestly do it again and I could see myself doing it in the future. Coming back to Port of Spain since our first visit in 2009 was special as many anticipated our return. Crew members enjoyed hearing stories of adults who had once come as children and had fond memories of their time on board. As always, thank you for your praise and support as we continue to bring hope from shore to shore.